So we just spent the week in Goa and we were going to get the train from Goa to Mumbai. And Graham asked me, Where is Bollywood? Mate, we're going to Bollywood. Like, Mumbai is the home of Bollywood. So we're literally going to LA or India? Yes, like literally, we're going to Bollywood, babe. We need to become Bollywood stars. Oh my god, yes. But I can't dance. Maybe we need to practice. We need to practice right now. Let's do it. <laughs> There's no time like right now, so we just went crazy. We just thought, right, if we're going to be in Bollywood, we need, need to get down with the moves. And the best place to get out of your comfort zone is obviously on the train platform. Jumped up, I had a dance, and it was actually really funny because... Before we knew it, the whole platform all around the sides of us were just filling out with people, and I felt so stupid. And it already felt like we were on a Bollywood set. So me and Theodora were pretty crazy, you probably know that already. Once we had this whole Bollywood thing in our heads, we just kept on talking about it. We were strategizing how were we going to get to Bollywood. We couldn't stop talking about it. I just can't stop thinking about it. We, we seriously need to become Bollywood stars. Just imagine for a second. So when we get to Mumbai, we need to get a plan of action. But like, I think what we do, we start as extras. We figure out the Bollywood scene. How do we become extras? I did read on a blog that there's places where you hang around where people get discovered, but we need to start hanging. So we need a decent outfit, just dance in public? Like all the time. Just non-stop dancing, like yeah. for the whole afternoon when we're there. Yeah. I reckon we'll get picked up. We need to, babe. Now, why don't we get Google up? So we need to Google how to become a Bollywood extra. Oh, the outfits, oh, the glitz and glam. If you've ever secretly dreamed to be in the movies, figuring out how to be a film actor in Bollywood might be your best bet. See, we were right. Mumbai, formerly known Mumbai. as Bombay. Hence, and that's where we're going. Hence the name Bollywood. From Bombay, Hollywood, Bay, oh gosh. It's home to a massive movie industry that churns out more than 1,000 feature films a year. That's twice the production of Hollywood and the production is of epic proportion. Imagine dancing scenes featuring hundreds of people, all colorful costumed. Add to that demand for exotic foreign talent. Exotic foreign talent? And you can see how the humble, unsuspecting tourists might be thrust into stardom. What? Okay, where to go? Kolobar Causeway. Casting agents regularly scout the area for Western recruits. You'll probably end up walking this street more than a few times anyway. Leopold Cafe. Gateway of India. Salvation Army Road Shield Hostel. What? Once we googled and found this article where it actually said that um, foreigners get scouted on the streets of Mumbai. The signs came out of the woodwork everywhere. I feel like I'm already in Bollywood. We've got our own cabin, there's nobody here. The fact the whole carriage is like empty. I've got air conditioning, I've got blue interior. I feel like, a, like the, the royals of India. The royal blue, it's a sign, babe. It's gonna happen. Well, ever since Sri Lanka, I've been addicted to train journeys. It's such a cool experience, both in Sri Lanka and in India. Well, Graham just does what he usually does on a train, and that's get as much footage from every single angle possible. And before you knew it, I was out of the door, which is extremely dangerous, but I was very careful and I was getting some epic B-roll.
thing you know, Graham comes back in the cabin and the ND filter has fallen out of the camera. It's crucial for filming, so we were like, oh my gosh. But luckily for me, I had a trained, a variable ND filter expert with me and she managed to fix a problem on site. It was really dodgy though because the train kept moving and obviously if I drop this ND filter glass and it scratches, that's it. We can't film anymore. And when you're on a train of, I don't know, 15 hours plus, you need to kill time, which can be challenging. It's a hot day I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with the splash gun So I cool down Won't you come on over We can party till the sun's down Baby, let me buy you a drink While we're dancing to blink I could go for some queen beat too Bass is going boom snacks and Graham became hangry and then we got the guests but the saviour provided and lunch came. Graham and what he's like with eating in his hands. He's become quite passionate about this. Turns out the curry is too runny to eat with his hands. So, I have to use a spoon. We just received another snack. And everything goes dark and people start going to sleep. At that point, we stopped at a station, which basically means that we can quickly get some internet on our phones. So we were checking our messages and comments on the YouTube video. And there were so many comments of people not liking Graham hanging out the door. It's actually quite dangerous and I actually realise now how dangerous it is. So, next thing you know, Graham starts preparing the windows to get footage that way. So that was my last time going out the door and I started filming from the inside. All of a sudden, the kids woke up and they took such a liking to Theodora. You sound Hindi? No, I can't speak Hindi. You will teach me Hindi? Yes. Teach me a good word in Hindi. Namaste. Like this, namaste. Hello, right? Yeah. It's hello? Laniwa. Like this? Laniwa. Laniwa. Okay. <laughs> the sun was setting and Graham was now trying to film through the windows. But as you can see, 
he wasn't happy with the sharpness of the shot. So... But luckily, to lighten my mood, dinner came. Dinner is served. And then all hell broke loose. The hard drive that we had saved all our Goa footage from. Almost four vlogs worth were on the edge of corruption. It was failing and we couldn't get our footage off this hard drive. We didn't know if we could save them and we were in extreme panic. It was an actual nightmare. Now if you didn't know, Theodora is quite the technical whiz kid. But at this point it was so late and she was so tired that she just passed out. Before we knew it, we were at the Mumbai station, we had ordered a taxi, the bags were going in, the traffic was everywhere, we didn't know where we were going, we had a 45 minute drive straight into the heart of Mumbai, in the heart of Bollywood. And then, right when we were on the end of the vlog, all the batteries have run out. So we couldn't finish the end of the vlog. But you wouldn't believe what happens next. But to find out, you'll have to like the video. You're going to have to subscribe to the channel. And turn on the notifications to find out in the next vlog. But luckily, I had a trained N variable N... But luckily, I had a trained variable ND filter expert with me who... who, who but luckily, I had a trained variable ND filter expert that managed to happen... Let me do it again. But luckily, I managed to... But luckily, I had a trained ND variable expert. <laughs> variable ND. ND filter. But luckily for me, I had a trained a variable ND filter expert with me and she managed to fix a problem on site on a wobbly train.